हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आवर टॉपिक विल बी हीलिंग दिस इज अ पैथोलॉजी टॉपिक ऑफ बीडीएस सेकंड ईयर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ हीलिंग इट इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रिपेयर एंड रीजनरेशन रिपेयर मींस बाय प्रोलिफेरेशन ऑफ पैरेंकाइमल सेल्स रिजल्ट इन complete restoration of tissue and regeneration means by proliferation of connective tissue elements like that is fibrosis and scarring in case of repair there are proliferation of parenchymal cells which results in complete restoration of tissue and in regeneration there are connective tissue elements which results in fibrosis and scarring now the healing can be done by two in uh, methods that is primary and secondary healing by primary intentions it is defined as healing with following characteristics first is clean and uninfected surgically incised without loss of tissues cells and edges of wound are approximated by sutures the wound or healing uh, healing which has these characteristics which will be terms as primary intentions it should be clean it should be uninfected it should be surgically incised without much loss of tissue plus it should be uh, the edges should uh, edges of wound are approximated by sutures now the uh, the sequence of events which causes the primary healing are uh, mainly five first is initial hemorrhage second is acute inflammatory response third is epithelial changes third is organization and fifth is suture tract in what happens in initial hemorrhage after the initial injury the space between the approximate surface it is filled with blood and clot this seals the wound against any infection and dehydration after the injury there is a initial hemorrhage which uh, which fills the wound with blood and clot which uh, and the advantage of this is that it prevents infection and dehydration second is acute inflammatory response about after 24 hours at at incised margins the of wounds polymorphs are seen and after 48 hours these are replaced by macrophages third event is epithelial changes the basal cell of epidermis forms both from both cut margins starts to proliferating and marginating towards incised space in the form of epithelial spores jo the uh, what happens to epithelial when uh, the after acute inflammatory response the epidermis of both the cut margins starts proliferating towards okay and uh, in towards the incised space and this is uh, called as in epithelial spores a well approximated layer in 48 hours covers the wound after 48 hours a well approximated layer is uh, covers the wound and this layer separates underlying viable dermis from necrotic material the uh, skin that has been nec necrotic is separated by uh, underlying viable tissue by this layer and uh, it continues to divide and by fifth day it forms multi layer epidermis by the fifth day there is a formation of a multi layered epidermis which is uh, differentiated into deep and superficial epidermis now the fourth event is organization by the third day third day at third day fibroblast starts to invade the wound and by the fifth day collagen fibril starts dominating till healing 
at third day there are fibroblaster scenes and at fifth day collagen fibers uh, are dominating in that wound now at fourth week the scar tissue shows scanty of cellular and vascular elements plus inflammatory cells at fourth week there are uh, scanty of cellular and vascular elements plus there are also inflammatory cells the suture tracts each suture tract has its own separate tract and sometimes there is uh, can be infected these can be infected which leads to the delay wound healing there is a diagram of primary intentions we can see sutures at 20 at 24 hours uh, this is uh, these are the sutures approximated uh, woundage and there are presence of fibroblasts and neutrophils minimal inflammatory response and no debaris no bacteria is seen 3 to after 3 to 7 days as we learned new capillary cells are formed fibroblast are seen uh, and suture is uh, approximated by uh, epithelial spores these are epithelial spores these now Uh, granulation tissue is minimal at weeks no suture and minimal scarring suture disappears collagen fibers uh, takes place and minimal scarring is there now the uh, second uh, is healing by secondary intention for we have studied about the primary intention now we will study about the events happen in secondary intentions first of all uh, how we will categorize the wound that is large open and large tissue defects are present at and sometimes infected have loss of cells and tissue and wound is not approximated by surgical sutures but is left open these character sticks uh having is known as secondary intention now events uh primary events that is initial hemorrhage and acute inflammatory response is same as the uh, primary healing the changes are in uh, th- epithelial changes the proliferating epithelial cells do not cover the space fully until granulation of tissue from base has started filling the wound space now in case of primary intentions the epithelium starts to proliferating from both the sides okay but in case of secondary intention it do not cover until the granulation of tissue Uh, not has not started because the wound area the diameter of wound is a uh, very large so there is a need of granulation in between that and that is known as scab formation there is a scab formation now what is granulation granulation is the main bulk main bulk is formed by granulation in case of secondary intentions now granulation appears like this somewhat it it is formed by the proliferation of fibroblast plus neurovascularization of adjacent viable tissue a newly formed uh, granulation appears like this which is deep red and fragile and granular as we can see in picture with time it becomes pale white because of dominating collagen fibers uh, we can see here there is a large wound and large uh, clots so there is a scab formation in between them and neurovascularization tissues are present in the case of secondary intentions and collagen fibers dominate at the end at least 1/3 to 1/4 uh, uh, original size of wound is contracted in case of secondary healing 
now if there is a presence of infection the he delay there is a de there will be a delaying healing because of bacterial toxins now this is an important table which is uh, frequently asked in viva or and also in written exams so these tables tells up about the difference between primary and secondary intention healing uh, in case of primary it will be clean and in secondary it will not be clean the baris will be there or any other uh, foreign particles like soil or will be there infections in primary there is uh, no infection and in secondary there will be infection healing is uh, by small granulation tissue and in secondary there will be large granulation tissue outcomes there will be a linear scar in case of primary and in case of secondary there will be irregular scar margins will be surgically clean in case of primary and irregular in case of secondary complications in case of primary they uh, are not frequent but in case of secondary they are commonly present now sutures are not used now in uh, sutures uh, this is uh, opposite the sutures will be present in primary and in secondary there will be no sutures